Carmelo Hayes and Austin Theory. And they promoted uh, the Dusty Classic match next week with Hayes and Trick Williams against Idris Anofe and Malik Blade. So there's a fadeaway by Hayes and then a slingshot DDT onto the edge of the apron. We go to a break. Theory hits the rolling drop kick. And then Hayes counters a suplex, bouncing off the middle rope to suplex Theory into the mat. And then with Hayes seated on the top turnbuckle, Theory leaps up for a springboard split-legged one-man Spanish fly. And the way he comes down here, he's like coming down sideways. And you can see how Theory, uh, this is what you how you th- see Theory hit the mat. It's a double whammy because not only is he landing like this, Hayes is coming down like on his head mm-hmm. as well. Very hard. I think everyone's reaction was like Grayson Waller's here. This looked so nasty. Mm-hmm. And they just waved this off at 9.09. Uh, if there's a silver lining, I like the fact that this is now the accepted practice in these situations. And it's a, a welcome change because uh, th- this looked brutal. Uh, just, just to- totally like uh, the, the, the timing and just yeah. all of it was off. Like this was just an ugly looking spot. Very scary. We, we are recording this right after um, SmackDown ended pretty much. So we don't really have an update on Grayson uh, or Austin Theory yet. Obviously, we, we we hope for the best. Yeah, I mean, I was focused on on um, Carmelo and, and yeah. I didn't even notice Theory, you know, landing as awkwardly as he was. And it looked like the match both, was- like looked like they crashed heads coming down with like the impact once they hit the mat on top of Theory coming down at a really rough angle. Like, I, I'm sure both were rattled from this. And I I hope it's not too serious like same like it looked really bad but the referee ryan trans you know uh, attention was focused on austin theory here and the match looked like it was called predominantly because of what happened to him so again we 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 hope for the best um but like you said john i think maybe this was probably the most significant news story coming out of the show is the fact that um second time in two weeks we've had matches called off on live television without a need to create any sort of I don't know, improvise song and dance to justify it. A match was purely called. And, and, both, and, and b- both head injuries too. Like just like. Well, you don't play like, when it's a head injury. You know, it, it might I be mean, another thing when it's there a There was cut. a time there was, and there's, there's going to be like times that, you know, it, that that's what you fight through. So I'm really glad to be seeing this change. And I hope that there's uh, people that are going to like take, um, take this as like a, a lead that, we can do this in situations. When That's why it's so important that it's the WWE doing this because they are the industry leader. Everybody follows their lead. People watching at home with their little indie feds, you know, or or, or backstage backyard feds. Um, like I would contend that maybe they were the ones to popularize the idea that the show must go on and that no matter what, you know, like Hunter tearing a quad or like, oh, whatever, like uh, Owen Powell driving uh, Austin, you finish the match. Now, thankfully, they are undoing those mistakes and they're showing that it's fine and it's normal to have a fictitious stage play and early when somebody's life is at risk. Imagine like how archaic, you know, um, yet it's even, supposed- even the way that Kevin Patrick and Corey Graves, like they just handled it like real. It was just Graves said, listen, injuries happen here. And it's just there was an injury. Hopefully they're OK. We'll hopefully get updates like they just treated it as it was like this is mm-hmm. a real moment that happens. And like. And give, the, give some credence to your audience that is going to be more than understand, especially in this era that, I mean, it's yeah. more than past due. And we have this update from WWE following their match tonight on SmackDown. Theory and Carmelo are were evaluated for injuries. They both suffered face contusions and will both be okay. <laughs> 